Hey everyone, how's it going? Kim here, welcome back. Today we are doing a 35 minute no repeat kettlebell workout. This workout starts with a warm up and then we're gonna go through 25 no repeat kettlebell exercises, working them 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest. And then we're going to do a post workout stretch. We are going to be standing for 20 of the exercises and then we'll be on the floor for the remaining five. You will need a kettlebell and a mat for today's workout. So go ahead, get set up and when you're ready, we'll get started. All right, for our warm up, make sure you've got your kettlebell right in front of you. We're gonna start by taking our hands behind our head and we're gonna go into some good morning. So we're just gonna hinge it forward and lift. I keep my knees slightly bent and I hinge at my hips, keep my back nice and straight. Good, pull that belly in, squeeze your glutes at the top. We're getting that stretch in through our hamstrings. Good, one more. Let's take those arms out, step the feet out a little wider, then we're gonna come down, cross, windmill the arms down to meet the opposite foot. Getting a rotation in through the waist. One more each side. Good, step the feet in and let's take those arms down and up. We wanna warm up the shoulders as we stretch out our back. Five. Two. And one, bring the arms down. I'm gonna pick up my kettlebell, grab onto it with one hand, bring our feet together, and then I'm gonna pass that kettlebell around the body. So taking it around the world. Good, make sure you get a good grip on that kettlebell so you're not gonna let it go flying across your room. We're gonna go three, two. We're gonna stop the kettlebell, now take it the opposite direction. Two more. Good, bring it to a stop. Now we're gonna take that kettlebell, holding onto the handles, flip it so the bell is pointing up. We're gonna take that kettlebell behind our head into a halo, bring it center, then switch directions. Getting some shoulder mobility here, starting to wake up the abdominal muscles. Let's go two more. Great job. We're gonna flip the kettlebell over, drop it to the floor, come up, place your hands across your chest, and we're just gonna come into a squat and lift. Drive those hips back. Last two. Final one, good, bring the knees up, give it a little tug at the top, stretch out those glutes. Nice job. Two, and one, let's bring it into some butt kicks right here. So really driving those heels up to meet your glutes. Now open up the chest. We got seven, six, three, two, and one, shake it out. Okay, we're starting with some deadlifts and I'm gonna do a staggered stance deadlift. So I want that kettlebell 
right beside one of my feet. The other foot is gonna come back slightly and I'm gonna be up on the toe. When I come into this deadlift, I'm hinging at my hips. All right, I'm gonna grab onto that kettlebell with both hands and lift. Are you ready? Here we go. Lift. Now take a little rest. I'm going to get that kettlebell into a racked position and then I'm gonna do a curtsy lunge. So come on down, grab onto that kettlebell with one hand, rack it. We're gonna take that same leg on a diagonal, hips forward, and we're just gonna lunge right here. Drop and lift, good. Good job. All right, kettlebell down. We're gonna do a side step swing. So we're gonna step back, feet are forward. We're gonna come into a swing, step it up, down, step it up, side to side. Okay, now if that's too much for your legs, just do a standard two-handed swing. Here we go. Lift, step up. and drop. Okay, staggered stance, deadlift on the other side. Up on the toe, other side. We got four seconds, hinging right here. And drop. Okay, we're gonna rack it. Do the curtsy on the other side. Take some deep breaths in and out. Catch that breath on your rest. When you're ready, kettlebell up. Good, bring that elbow in. Here we go. Four. And drop it. 
Okay, I'm gonna lighten up just a bit. We're gonna do some lateral lunges and I'm gonna stay on one side. So I'm gonna start with my feet out wide, grab my kettlebell. I'm gonna be shifting my weight and up. Here we go. Down, up. Place a kettlebell in between your feet, step back slightly. All right, we're gonna go into a single hand swing, but I'm gonna do a suitcase hold. So the kettlebell handles are pointing towards me. Grab onto that kettlebell, pull it towards me, single arm swing. Here we go. Lift, good. You wanna try to keep that arm close to the body. Use your hips to drive your arm forward and swing the kettlebell. Place your kettlebell down. Big wide stance out again. Lateral lunge to the other side. Good, shoulders back. In three, we're shifting that weight. Down and lift. Good. and place the kettlebell down. We're gonna do that suitcase, single arm swing on the other side. We got eight seconds. All right, you want the kettlebell in front of you. Step back slightly, hinge it here. Let's work. Three. <sighs> nice job, place your kettlebell in between your feet. Take a big wide stance out. Turn your corners, toes to the corner. We're gonna come into a sumo squat with a two-handed clean. <sighs> so think about pulling that belly in, shoulders rolled back, chest lifted. We're coming down, lift, double hand clean, release, down. Nice job. 
Okay, again, I'm lightening up. Now, you do not need to switch your kettlebell weights if all you have is a single kettlebell. Work with that. I like to have different weights for different exercises, and I happen to have them on hand, so that's why I do it. We're gonna go into an alternate hand clean. So take it down, clean, now squat, press. Let's take it to the other side. Clean, squat, press. Good, okay, suitcase row. So I want my feet side by side, about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna be hinging forward, grabbing onto that kettlebell, and I'm gonna go into a bent over row, single arm. We got four seconds, slight bend in the knees, hinge forward, kettlebell lifts, pull. Keep your shoulders level with each other. Good, really retract the shoulder blade right here, then pull. Okay, drop it down. We're gonna do the other side. Oh. All right, eight seconds, belly in, shoulders back. Hinge it forward, bend in through the knees, support your back. Here we go, lift, row. Good, kettlebell down. Whew, okay, alternate single leg deadlift. Now, if balance is a problem for you, you're going to take one leg back, deadlift, drop, switch sides. Or you're gonna go into that single leg deadlift. So I'm gonna hinge one leg, lift, good, drop it down, other side. Find your balance. Nice work. Okay, we're doing another swing. We're gonna do a hand-to-hand -hand swing. So start with your kettlebell in front of you. Step back. Toes pointing forward. Feet about hip width or just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Hinge it here. Grab on with one hand. Here we go. You wanna switch hands at the top. Good job. 
Okay, we're gonna do some overhead work. So I'm gonna grab my lightest kettlebell. <sighs> now, if overhead bothers you, keep it in the racked position, okay? I'm gonna come into a racked position. I'm gonna press up, keep that arm up, opposite legs. Going to do a lunge. So I'm lunging down and up. Good. Remember, you can keep it racked if that overhead is too much. Good. Let's switch sides. This is a challenging one. Catch that breath. Good. Let's get it rocked. We're going to press right here, lunge it back. Great job. Bring it into place, drop it down. Okay, we're gonna do some push presses. So there's two ways of doing a press. One is you're just pressing. The other is you're gonna do a little bend in through the knee, push and press. That's what we're doing. Lost my train of thought there. <laughs> All right, bring it up, slight bend in your knee, press. Good, bring it all the way back in, down, push. All right, we're repeating on the other side. Two more standing exercises, then we're on the floor for our final five. You're crushing this, we got six, seven exercises to go. All right, here we go. Rack. Slight bend in those knees, push and press. Nice job. Okay, two-handed swing. So just the basic kettlebell swing. Again, set it up with it in front of you. Step it back, feet hip width apart. Big inhale, roll those shoulders back, bend the knees, hinge at your hips, pull the kettlebell towards you. Here we go. And one. 
All right, we're going to the floor. I'm gonna take my lightest kettlebell down with me. So I come to my knees, holding onto that kettlebell. I wanna place it beside me. Roll onto my side, then I'm gonna pull that kettlebell with my bottom hand over, and we're gonna go into a press right here. Good, keep both shoulders down on the floor, belly in. Big inhale and exhale. Nice work. Good, bring that kettlebell so it's in your center and you're gonna hold on to the bell this time. All right, so we are going to do a push and bring those shoulders off the floor, then bring it back down. And here comes Olivia for some salt. Are you ready? Here we go, lift and down, exhale. Keep it up. All right, we're gonna take it over to the other side. So take that kettlebell over to the other side. Other arm is down on the ground. Pull the belly in. Are you ready? Three, two, one, press. Good, bring it back to center. Again, we're gonna hold on to the handles this time and we're gonna do a lap pull over. So I'm keeping my back pressing into the floor. Elbows are tucked in beside me. I'm gonna bring that kettlebell behind my head. Pull the tummy in strong, press your low back into the floor and then bring it back to center. Here we go. Good, take a little rest. We're gonna be holding that kettlebell now just overhead. So it's really just for some shoulder stabilization and then we're gonna work the lower abdominal muscles with some leg raises. So I wanna get that kettlebell up, lift my legs, point my toes. Feel free to do this with bent knees, all right? We're gonna bring the legs down, keeping the back pressing down to the floor and then bring it back up to center. Good, lower. And up, focus on your breath. Take this as slow as you need to. So the variation is to take it with bent knees. All right, so modify as needed for your body. This is it, last exercise. We're gonna stretch after this. 
and drop those feet. All right, we're gonna roll the kettlebell over, place it on the floor, and then we're gonna stay on our back and come into some knee hugs. So I wanna bring those knees directly into meet my chest, wrap my arms around my knees, relax my head, and just roll it side to side. Whew, great job, guys. Time to recover and stretch it out. Now I am gonna take both of my knees over to one side. So I wanna take my arms out beside me and I'm gonna drop my knees over to the side. Now you can always put a pillow or something under your knees, but you wanna make sure your shoulders are both down on the ground. Then I'm gonna turn my head and look the opposite direction. I'm gonna pull my belly in as I lift those knees, bring them back to center, and then I'm just gonna start taking them over to the other side. And then again, turning the direction of my head, getting a little bit of a neck stretch here. Think about taking nice deep breaths in, and then fully exhaling. And let's bring those legs back down. Now I'm gonna give you an option here. So one option is feet together, just let those knees open up. Really just open up through the hips. Or you can go into happy baby if it's comfortable to do so. So I'm gonna grab on to the inside of my feet and then drive my knees down towards the floor. Good, let's bring those legs together. Take them to the floor, roll yourself over nice and slow, and we're gonna come over onto all fours. So I'm gonna step my left leg forward, and my back knee is slightly back, and I'm pushing that hip down towards the floor. Now I'm just gonna lean back and straighten that front leg, pull the toe towards me, and I'm gonna start to hinge here. Now you only need to go as far as you can feel that stretch in through your hamstring, so you might be up here, all right? You can even have a slight bend in the knee, or if you want, you can bring your hands to the floor. If you feel that you are starting to really tug on the low back, you've gone a little too far in this stretch. Good. I'm gonna bend my knee and I'm gonna bring that leg so that my ankle is right underneath my knee and then this back knee needs to be right underneath my hips. I'm gonna tuck that tailbone down and under and get that stretch in through my quads. And while we're here, let's open up that chest. Interlace your fingers behind you, open up the chest. If you can't bring your hands together, just place them on your low back and open it up there. Good, and release it. We're gonna take it to the other side, coming into that hip flexor stretch to start. Nice deep breath in. Good. 
Good, slide it back, pull that foot off the ground, come into your hamstring stretch right here. Good, bend that front knee, slide the back leg in, and let's just take our arms and give ourselves a nice big hug. Take it side to side. Take the opposite arm on the bottom. Let's place our hands down on the floor, step both feet together. Lift that tailbone. We're gonna lift our arms with a nice straight back all the way up. Exhale the arms down, take another deep breath, reach it and exhale it down. Nice job, guys, you did it. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. That's it for me today. You take care and I'll see you on the next one.